What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I bring you my heroic mode, Wrath of the Machine, Hunter looting results and I got some badass more fucking shit but before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, hitting that like button is much appreciated, let's aim for 4000 likes, that'd be absolutely insane, okay then so Basically, her mode dropped late last night. Well, not late last night. Well, it was late, kind of late last night for us in the UK, which is a 10 p.m. For people who work the next day and have school, it is pretty late. But it wasn't late for me, but yeah. Um, so it dropped at 10 p.m. We finished it about a couple of hours after that. Didn't really struggle, to be honest. I tell you one thing, though. The nightfall is a lot harder than the heroic mode raid. That damn shield brothers who saw our burn is a pain in the ass. I know it's the glitch spot, but still, it's literally one shot from every enemy. It's ridiculous, but yes. The Wrath of the Machine Raid, loot results, let's get into it. Okay, so from Volzik Phase 1, I got a Legendary Engram. From the Secret Chest, I got another Legendary Engram. And a 385 Graviton Forfeit Exotic Helmet. Playing on Heroic Mode, from the chests, you do have a chance of getting the Normal Exotics and the Heroic Exotics. The Normal Exotics drop up to a 385, and the Heroic Exotics drop up to a 400. This, unfortunately, was a 385 Normal Exotic. Moving on to Volzik Phase 2 and I got a Legendary Engram and I got a 396 attack Zeal Vector Sidearm. I also got a 385 attack Quantiplasm Shotgun. The Zeal Vector Sidearm has Reactive Reload and Quick Reaction. Grained increased agility while the Reactive Reload perk is active. The thing is I just don't use sidearms, I don't like sidearms. And this thing could be much much better used infused, so that's what it's going to be used for. From the Siva Cash chest I got the X Machina Sniper dropping a 396 attack. This one's got a spray and play and wait for it. Reloading this weapon when the magazine is empty grants a larger than normal magazine. This is strictly though a PvE sniper, I mean the zoom on it is ridiculously long and far and shit, it's just ridiculous. Definitely a PvE sniper, does decent damage as well. And with wait for it, when you get a larger than normal magazine, it does do great damage when that boss encounters. Moving on, and from the second and third chest, I got legendary engrams. From the Death Samboni, I got a 396 If Materia Heavy Machine Gun. Also got a 385 attack sand and play rocket launcher, as well as a legendary engram. The If Materia has the perks triple tap and triple double. When triple tap perk is triggered, an extra bullet is transferred from the reserves into the magazine. Now at first when I saw this and thought this perk on a heavy machine gun that shoots absolutely ridiculously quick, there could have been a lot of better things added to it, but to be honest it isn't too bad. It triggers quite a lot, giving you a few extra bullets. I mean nothing spectacular, but still it's better than fuck all. And it's another thing that wrecks the boss because obviously extra damage to Fallen. So I will keep this thing and level this bad boy up. From the Siva Cash chest, I got the spliced Nanomania vest, dropping at a 395 defense, offering intellect and discipline, so not bad at all. From the fourth secret chest, I got a legendary engram. From Axis Phase 1, I got the perfected Siva Shard artifact, dropping at a 396 defense, and I got a 385 defense ghost shell. From Axis Phase 2, I got a 395 defense splice Nanomania cloak. And from the Siva Cash chest, I got a 396 attack steel modula pulse rifle. This thing is a beast, a PvE beast that is, with full auto and sign of 4. Landing 3 bursts on a target causes the 4th burst to do extra damage. Pretty useless in PvP, I mean unless you're fighting against a Titan running that you in that Hammer of Sol or something like that. But I reckon this could be quite good against bosses. I will have to level it up though and try it out and let you guys know. But guys, that is it for my first heroic mode completion done on my Hunter. I will be doing my Titan and Warlock later today. So expect another loot video when I do do it on them. But guys, if you've done it, let me know what you've got down below in that comment section. Anyone get the hand cannon? Let me know. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do hit that like button. I do appreciate the support. Thanks for stopping by as always, and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong. Get around.